Our first guest is an actor and producer who stars in the new show, BMF. Take a look. Mm -mm. You don't want to step to a guy like that without backup. No backup, yeah. I, I, I can defend myself. I don't, I don't need no help. All that defiance and stubbornness. You must be a Capricorn. Astrology's kind of my thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I am a Capricorn. What else I tell you about me? A lot. Mm. It tells me that you're ambitious. OK. You're disciplined. Keep going. And you can be persistent when you want to be. I mean, I guess that's true, because I'm still chasing your ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Lala Anthony! I want some tips from you, because you started your career when you were, what, 16? Yes, 16 wow. years old. I started as an intern at a radio station mm. with Ludacris. With Ludacris? Yeah, so way back in the day. Was that always your dream growing up? My dream, I just love music. Uh -huh. Like, I just love music, so I was like, how can I get close to music? Okay, well, work at a radio station. You yeah. can get close to music, you can meet artists, you can go to free concerts, you can hang out, you can sneak into clubs, you can do all of that. So I was like, <laughs> this, is, this is the job for me. So did you ever start out, like, were you, did you sing? Did you ever do anything I mean, there like was that? a time, no, 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 no. I can't sing for anything. No. But there was a time that I thought, <laughs> that I thought I could rap just a little really? bit. That came and went, like, really fast. That was, like, <laughs> a, a quick thing. But yeah, I thought I could. And then you worked for like TRL. That was one yes, of your jobs. Yes. Then what I was, was that on like? TV on TRL. MTV. Thank you. Thank you. That I was. I remember this. Oh my God! So many memories. That was an amazing time in my life. I was super young, still a teenager on MTV, hosting TRL, and it was a live show. So. You couldn't mess up. I mean, if you did, you did. But you tried not to mess up. You got to interview all the best actors and artists and musicians. And it was just an amazing time. That's a crazy experience. And you were that young. And yes. it was is it doing stuff completely live, yo. <laughs> That's a task. So to come out the gate doing that? I know, I know. So I feel like I had a real crash course in like cameras and understanding. So when I was trans transitioning into acting, it made it a lot easier for me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm learning from the school of Lala. <laughs> that is for sure. I have to talk to you about your son. You got to be proud. He just got a scholarship offer for basketball. Yes, he did. He oh, did. my God. Oh, at, 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 at 15. He's 15 now? He's 15. So he's a sophomore. He's 15. His name is Cayenne, and he just got a scholarship offer to Syracuse. And what was so special about that, that's the school his dad won the championship at. Oh my God. So for them to come back around and offer him a scholarship. Yay for Cayenne. I'm so proud of him. Was, has just been so amazing. I, I, I'm proud, so I know you are proud yeah. to just see them grow up. Because how tall is he? He's, he's super tall. He's too. about 6'4 now. 6'4. Mm -hmm. And 15. Isn't that crazy? That, I you know. remember him when he was little. I know. Little. Our son. At Sierra's wedding, mm -hmm. they, they were in their own little world. And yeah. They were playing together. So to see yes. them coming up, and I was just like, little David, we got to go see their basketball. Game. I know, I know. Anytime we're looking for something to do in the industry, I call it, I don't know if you know, but I call it the mother circle. Mm -hmm. So, like, my son wanted to meet one of the basket his favorite basketball players. So I called Sierra, like, Sierra, can you help me out? And she's like, hold on, let me call Lala. <laughs> and when I say Lala came through and made a point, it was James Harden in Chicago. He came to Chicago, and because of Lala, my son got to meet that his favorite me so basketball player. That makes me Thank so you happy. again of for that. Course. Of course. Thank you again. Of course. Okay, and then your son played against LeBron James' son. Yes, which was, that was such an incredible moment. Shout out to the whole James family. Yes. We love them so much. And 20 years later, so Melo and LeBron played against each other in uh -huh. high school. And 20, 21 years later, Cayenne and Bronny played against each other. <laughs> Which is, is, I mean, that that was like his history. I sat there <laughs> and I was just like, this is actually crazy. Like, our children are yes. now playing against each other. And they're great friends, and it's just great to see them growing up into such amazing young men. It really is. Mm -hmm. And then there's a picture of Northwest cheering <laughs> Cayenne on. Yes. She has so much fun, and she loves Cayenne, and we had so much fun at the game. You know, basketball games are so fun. And high school basketball games are way more fun, in my opinion, than, oh, like, my, NBA so games. So that's what I have to look forward yeah. to. Yeah, you Because little something. David's on his mm -hmm. way. Yes. And so when I was watching your son's game, mm -hmm. and I was like, ooh, la, la, I got to get to the game. Because yes. if I was in Chicago, I'd be at my son's games. And I'm like, oh, my God, he'll be here eventually. So I yes. might as well get warmed up. And get ready. And come on out, because, honey, I'm a whole fool. Yeah. How are you as a mom on <laughs> the court? I'm a crazy person. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. It's a whole nother level when it's your child playing. <laughs> like, you really go crazy. 
I'm like, wait, you said what? Huh? What's going on? What's that? Like, a crazy person. <laughs> That's me. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I can't wait to experience yes, it. Yes, I'm and happy see to come kids. to one of the games and bring munch so we can have some fun. Love to have that. Yes. Okay, so you're in the movie with Eddie Murphy. Oh, my God. Tell me all about that. Congratulations. Thank you. Were you starstruck? I mean, you got to well, be first Eddie. Well, let me ask you a question. You say it like, you haven't been in the movie with Eddie Murphy. She's like, she, she, she's been in a movie with Eddie Murphy. I was like, no, no, no. There's some things in life where you're just like, wow. This was a wow moment for me. And he came on stage. He was like, what's up, Lala? And I was just like, yes. Eddie Murphy knows my name. This is so crazy. <laughs> but you know what was so crazy? We would do scenes, and he is a master, just incredible. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they said cut, it's like you would look up and he would be gone. I'm like, where did Eddie go? And all of a sudden, he would just be gone. And then when they needed him back, he'll pop up and then just be gone. That sounds like the Eddie I got to know, too, in Dream Girls. It was very much like that. It's like, where did Eddie go? <laughs> but it's incredible. And shout out to the cast of You People. It's Nia Long. Lauren London is in it. Ooh. Eddie Murphy. There's so many amazing talent in this movie. Okay, Jonah Hill. That. And we're just so excited. It's, it's a great one. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. So. Both of us are boy moms. Yes. Is your son as protective oh. about you as mine is over me? Honey. He's protective. Yeah. He's protective. How does he feel about you dating? He doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like it at all. I'm like, so you just want your mom to be alone like forever? He's like, yeah, kind of. I'm like, <laughs> but anytime his friends want to go out and do something, he's like, all right, mom, see you later. I'm going here and there. I'm like, you just leave me in a heartbeat, but yes. you don't want me to have anybody. Girl, I thought it's it was like just that. me. Yes. Yeah, that's how they are. I can't even get on the phone. No, but me either. At all. I mean, either. I feel like I'm, like, it's my dad in the house or something. Like, I'm sneaking, texting. I'm like, all right, let me call you yes. right back. Like, I'm like, this is crazy. Maybe who you on the phone yes. with. Well, don't worry about who I'm on the phone exactly, with. Exactly, exactly. He'd be like, Mom, let me see your phone real quick. For what? <laughs> what you need my phone for? That, it must be a, a mommy-son thing. It I definitely guess. is. It definitely okay. is. So you're teaching him to care and be respectful to women. Absolutely. How do you go about doing that? Absolutely. I mean, thank, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I lead by example. Like, I'll tell him, you know, if I get dressed for an event or something and I'm just leaving, he might not say anything. I'm like, you know, do you think mom looks nice? He's like, yeah, mom, you look really nice. Said, just make sure you say that because right. women like to hear compliments. Women like people to do nice things for them. So I start with me so he can learn from me on, on how to do that. Or I'll tell him, like, you know, it's okay to have friends and if someone does something nice for you, acknowledge that. Right. Let them know that, you know, that was nice or that made you feel special, it's okay to do that. I try to make sure he's in touch with me. He's gonna be a good man then. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.